Today I am here again with a new Linux distribution. What makes this distro different from others is that it does not use any package manager, regardless of being Debian based. So what does it use? We will learn in the video. When we first look at its website, we see a very plain website. And according to what it says here, this distro tells us, I'm a modern system that is Debian based, uses the KDE desktop and supports portable app image software. So we cannot download programs to it with apt. It only uses app image. App image is a package that does not require installation and opens with a double click, but it probably has flat pack in it. When we start the computer from the ISO, we see a grab menu like this. We start the system by coming to boot Nitrox live and pressing enter. It didn't take long for it to open, regardless of the live opening. And as I do with other distributions, I will go straight to the installation without further ado. There is a program called Nitrox install on the desktop. Let's start it. This also uses standard calamares. So, it installs more or less the same way as other distributions. So I'll go through it quickly. Okay, that's okay, no problem. Let's reinstall it. Emotional damage! No, 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 no! It didn't work even though I tried seven times. So I decided to make it full screen. Look at the content before installing it and then close the video. But... This time it happened. I said happily to myself. I adjusted the screen resolution, and finally, I will be able to examine the system. Finally, our war with distro is over. And now let's get into the review. The top panel is the standard KDE desktop environment panel, sound settings, network settings, notification panel. However, if you have two graphics cards, you can choose which one to use. This makes a big difference in terms of both performance and battery usage. But since I haven't installed this system, and I haven't set a root password for it, I won't be able to show you whether it works in practice. When we open the file named documentation the desktop, it directs us to its own website to tell us how to control the system. But let's see what happened. It didn't work. When we look at the wallpapers that come loaded with it, we see that there is not much. Of course, tastes are debatable. When we look at the programs that come preloaded inside, the first thing that comes to mind is Strike. Strike is an IDE. I don't know how functional it is. Then another application that came across was Flurry. Flurry is an internet browser, but when I looked into it a little bit, I saw that there was not much in its settings, and it was very simple. It's probably not a very good browser. Another application is a file manager called Index. It has a nice appearance. I used it a little. I didn't encounter any errors or problems, but how good is it in the long run? I don't know. Another program is BAR. BAR is a package manager in this distribution. From this program, you can download any program you want from Flatpak or IPMage. Of course, if it is available in Linux, I wrote a few programs for testing and searched, and it found them, but I couldn't download them because I couldn't install this system. While we're on the subject, let's take a look at system usage. It uses 4.3 GB of RAM at idle, which is a bit too much. Even Windows 11 doesn't use that much at idle. The CPU rate is between 5-15%. I think it uses a bit too many resources. Then when I look at other programs, it comes with programs for many games, but to open them, I need root permission, and I can't give it because I can't load the system. Another thing that caught my attention was that WayDroid came loaded. But when I tried to install it completely, it gave an error and did not install. WayDroid is a system not an emulator for running Android programs on Linux. 
And that's it. Thank you for watching. To support me, please like the video, share it with your friends, and then come back. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the upcoming videos.